My name is Rob Kellogg, and I'm here to talk to you about the Global Harmonized System. In particular, we're going to talk about the pictograms that you'll see, the pictures within a red diamond that signal any kind of hazard that you may have to be aware of before you engage that particular material. So we're going to show you all nine of those, what they look like, what they represent, and then in a later video, we're going to get into the SDS sheets where it's going to show you how to implement those protective stances and understand what it is that you're looking at. So without further ado, let's go on to learning how to identify the hazards according to a picture or a pictogram is really what the technical term is. In the very top left hand corner, you're going to see that it's a human torso, shoulders, head, and inside the chest area, you're going to see a bright white flash or a star-like uh, symbol. All this represents is something that's toxic. Uh, it's environmentally in particular, or not talking about the chemicals so much, but actually an environmental exposure like asbestos, silica, things of that nature. Uh, if we get into something that's toxic as far as a poison, that's when we're going to get down here to the cross skull and bones. But as we're looking up at the very top left hand corner, this is really what this is identifying. So it's carcinogen or a cancer causing material or uh, system, for lack of a better term. Now, your middle one in the top here, this is actually a flame in front of another flame, white flame, black flame in the back. This represents something that actually catches fire, pretty simplistic, but it's something we need to be aware of. Uh, it could be self-combusting, environmentally influenced, heat generated, wherever that might be, you're going to get that symbol on that product. As we get to the one on the top right, this is an exclamation point. And what this represents is an irritant. This has to do with things that are going to cause your body to be uncomfortable or to demonstrate uh, minor damage like a rash, uh, a sore throat, uh, watering eyes, things of that nature. Uh, and you're going to need to understand how to counter those. Um, so those are going to be on your label systems so that eye or that explanation point looks like an eye at a distance. That's your irritant. So you want to remember that for your indicators. On your left hand corner here in the middle, uh, excuse me, on the left hand side in the middle, we're looking at a cylinder. And this cylinder here represents that the system that the material is in is under pressure. Uh, WD 40 can, for example, or spray paint. You're going to have a pressurized container with that chemical in it, so it's an additional hazard. Now we're talking about the middle one here, which is tough to see here on the board, but I'll show you a larger one uh, that will generate a, a little bit more uh, detail for you. But this is actually a piece of material or a hand that's having material dripped on it, a liquid in this instance, uh, and showing a corrosive response. Parts and pieces of those two are actually being removed. So this can be either an acid or an alkaline, doesn't matter, either one, but it's something that's actually going to cause a... Uh, a corrosive environment. Uh, exploding bomb. This is the symbol that represents things that will go boom. Uh, in particular for the construction industry, uh, dynamite or uh, C4. Uh, if you're going to be doing uh, demolition, explosive demolition, this is something that you'd see on those kinds of materials. So if you see that on the outside of a storage container, uh, like a Conex box or a shed or a, a work trailer, they have it stored in there, these symbols and signs should be posted accordingly. Uh, bottom left hand corner you're going to see a circle with the flame on top of it and what that represents is something that's oxidizing, something that is accelerant uh, to a flammable environment. It helps it like oxyacetylene systems, your acetylene is your flammable material and your oxygen is the accelerant making it hotter. So you go from a yellowish flame to a blue, green, bright white center flame which increases your heat source. And then we're talking about the middle section here. This is not mandatory, but it is environmental awareness. And that is if this gets into the environment, it has a tendency to do damage to either wildlife or plant life, so or aquatic environments. So we want to be aware of that. Uh, you don't have to have this on chemicals per se, um, but the, the EPA in particular looks at these, uh, and if they do decide to put these on the container itself, this is what the symbol represents for you. Then finally, what we talked about cross skull bones, this is something that's poisonous, toxic, uh, immediately, I'm talking about something that gets into your skin or into your mucous membranes, your bloodstream. Those are things that we have to be worried and concerned about. So without further ado, what are we talking about here? The very top symbol, as you can see, is going to be the corrosive symbol, something that's gonna be eating away materials or even human tissues. 
And we're also talking about the bottom one, and this is a con con uh, container or a, a material that's under pressure. And that is the hazard here is the pressurization of that material, not so much the material itself. And then we get the top one, exploded bomb. So we talked about that already. And then the flame in the front of the flame is something that catches fire. The O with the flame on top, this is your oxidizer or your accelerant, like oxygen and an oxygen uh, settling system. And then you have your toxic or your health issues, and that's going to be the one on the bottom. So we're talking about carcinogens or cancer causing materials. Top, I, irritant. Something that's going to bother you, causing a dermatitis or going to cause a respiratory issue. Something that's going to bother you uh, and cause you undue, unnecessary pain and discomfort. And then the bottom one, we're talking about a poison. Something that's very toxic immediately and it can take you out of the game rather quickly. So. And then the finally, again, non-mandatory, but this is your environmental exposures. And these are some things that we're going to be looking for. I want you to go back and review this really quick, just this section. Uh, so that way you become familiarized with it um, two or three times is not a bad thing so that way you understand what each one represents so the next time you see them on a container you're more likely to understand and remember what those issues are we'll talk about label reading in another segment as well as how to read SDS sheets and some of the things that you need to pay attention to when you get to them these are sub systems that have been put in place as a right to know program for you to understand what you're dealing with before you get involved with them. And it's highly important you understand what you're messing with because it may be safe to you, it may be safe to your environment, but if you misuse it or use it with another chemical, things can go bad really, really fast. So we need to understand that ahead of time. Again, know your right to know programs and the first step in that is knowing what these symbols are and what they represent. If you have any questions, give us a call here at Ultimate Group and we're here to give you as much help as we can over the phone. As always, remember, safety is not a mindset. It's a state of mind. Have a good day.